In the Pipeline Studio, you can use macros to add dynamic variables to plugin configurations. Macros let you set most of the configuration of a pipeline at runtime, instead of hard coding it at design time. You can add a macro to any plugin. Fields that can be made dynamic using macros have a blue M button on the far right in the plugin configuration section. To add a macro to a field, click the M button or type dollar sign brackets. The placeholder you enter for the macro is called the key, which you'll see when you set the macro's value at runtime. To separate the words of a macro key, you can use dot notation, camel case, dashes, or underscores. It's best practice to use the same notation for all macros, so it's easy to spot a macro at a glance. The M button is a toggle. Click it again to reset the default value of the plugin property. One common use of macros is the path field in plugins. Instead of using hard-coded paths, you can use dynamic paths. For example, in a GCS source plugin, you might replace the path using multiple macros to split the bucket, the folder, and the file portions. You can set macro values in argument setters, runtime arguments, application preferences, namespace preferences, and system preferences. For more information about macros, check out the CDAP documentation.